Welcome everybody to another week here at Tutorial. We are framing up the bathroom shower and the utility closet this week. Enjoy! Caleb really wanted to just find out of like how does framing work and stuff so I kind of took the time to explain. We wanted to go through step by step of how to build a wall. The first one. Right, okay. six and a half. 56 and a half. You know how they have by the door, you have to have a stud that has the the door header on it yeah. and then and the then other next studs to next to it to actually support it. Yeah. And then we do every 16, we do a stud. Is this, so now we should do the same door, I think, opening. 34, if we have a stud, I go forward like that. Yeah. So this is the first that I can actually do for height. Makes sense, right? Because I can't. Yeah, but what you, how are you gonna I'll make a board like this? Oh. So this one will go full height. So what we'll do on this one, we will move this up. And this is the one that's gonna be on the top? On the, yes. On the ceiling? Yep, no, so this is gonna be the ceiling one. So now, let's see. I have a full stud here. The door does not fit here. So we can see where can we do a full height door. This is that. Okay. One, two, three full studs, one full stud on this side. So this is going to be the small one, right? To the corner of the door. Yep, to, to right here. Is that enough space for. Yeah. Because you got a toilet. Walk in the shower. Yeah, the toilet is going to be right here, and then the shower can stick out a little more if we have to, or whatever. Right? So you're going to actually have to flame, frame a little wall right here, right? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do up to some. Well, they charge you for a 2x4 these days. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 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 Yeah, that's what I was Hope floor I could have done for like a few hundred bucks last year. Now it's going to cost you a few hundred? <laughs> a few extra hundreds. I think I'm like fifteen hundred dollars right now. Wow. I just don't know already. <laughs> Standing here right now pretty loose. Okay, so and then we'll put one at the end. And then we'll put one at the next this here. Side. And then and what we'll do on this one, can I hold this for a second? Yeah. I'm gonna get a small piece. We hold right here. here. Simulate the edge. Yep, so that we can make it flush with this side. So I don't know how people afford it to build. Oh man, imagine if you were right a builder now. right now. I mean, it, unless you have to build, just don't. I know, I don't get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're building, but this is small. But this, this is, is different, framing. you know, I'm not buying... Yeah, you're not building a new a house. A thousand or sticks. Or building a house. I bought 50 sticks to do all of this. Yeah. Well, I know I bought 100 sticks. Yeah. But, you know, if this is 100 sticks, now you're talking about, you know, crazy money. Yeah. We need to figure out where this guy goes here, and then put a piece that goes over here. Oh, geometry time. Slightly less than 18 and a quarter. Thirty-three, and the short side is gonna be twenty-nine.
want to take a minute and say thanks to Julie. I know she hasn't been in a lot of the videos lately, mainly because obviously with, Eli uh, with Elias and Clara being so young, it's just hard for her to get away from the kids. And she does a lot of work at home, makes everything happening in the background so that I can actually work on the house here. I wish I had more times when she can come help, but as Cloud gets older and she can actually have some people watch her without being obviously being fed all the time by Julie, it's gonna be easier for her to get away and then she can help out and I'm look, really looking forward to that time again. It's so much more pleasurable when Julie is here, uh, we can have a conversation uh, while we're working and um, just really have fun here at the house together too. It wasn't a project that just one of us wanted to do, it was really something that we both wanted to do together as a family. We already had Elias, so we knew it would be a struggle and would be a lot of time, but we really felt like this is a house that we just want to fix up and restore to its former glory and also use as a family uh, later on. I think we see a lot of potential in this house. It's very big, so we can have a lot of space of having friends over and the aspect of it being historical, we both like the the charm of the house, a lot of the features with the stairs and everything. So it's it's not a project that just Emmanuel said, hey, he needs to do and um, we are gonna do this. No, this is actually giving you guys a little backstory. What happened is I saw the house a few months before we actually looked at it. And I said, hey, this would be an interesting house. Um, it went to pending, somebody else put an offer in, but it fell through eventually. And then when it came back on the market, I told Julie, how about we go and look at it? Um, I showed her the first time and she's like, no, this is way too much of work. This is not something she can imagine herself. And then so we looked at a couple other historic homes that were already supposedly done, but we didn't like the finishes that people did. We felt like they either didn't do the finishes the way we want them, so they either updated it too modern or they just didn't do a good job. Uh, and then it was expensive for what it was worth. We didn't feel like it was the value that we would get. So then we came back, this house came back on the market and Julie said, hey, well, how about we actually go look at it again? And Julie fell in love with the stairs, with a lot of the features, the rounded walls. And so she said, hey, how about we do this? So we sold the house, we bought this one and we really have enjoyed the journey. It has been a long journey. It has been difficult. There's obviously so much work and there has been struggles. There was one thing I want to say is thanks to you guys, because if, if you guys weren't there and I wouldn't do YouTube videos every week, if this wasn't a responsibility and kind of an accountability that I had to bring you guys an update every week, I probably would have given up already and Julie would have been the same. We would have probably just said, it's too much work for us, but saying, hey, no, we really should come over here because we want to share what's going on over here. So that has been really a great accountability for us, a really, a really good motiva motivation to just come over here and work on the house. So thank you guys. And then once again, thanks for Julie just to make it all happening in the background. I couldn't do it without her. I just really enjoy the time spending with her over here at the house doing work together. And it's a great help. Um, I do, I'm much more productive when I have somebody else over here. So it's really um, a pleasure to have her over here. So thanks, Julie.
Sunday afternoon and I need to finish the wall that Caleb and I built yesterday. We just need to finish it up all the way to the ceiling and then we need to add some blocking in the rest of the wall everywhere. Okay, we got the wall built. I made it in an angle and not all the way up at the co uh, corners. And that's really just, so we have a little bit of support for the drywall, but it doesn't have to be all the way in the corner. So the next thing on the agenda is the two by six for the TV mount. So I'm gonna add a two by six right here. Maybe also one up here and maybe even further one further down here. Mainly for the purpose of in case we wanted to mount a TV on this side of the wall, then we have some support. It's always best to mount the TV in a stud, and if we know already this is a wall where a TV most likely will sit, then adding a mount, mounting plate for it behind the wall is really an uh, easy step beforehand, uh, costs almost nothing, and makes everything easier at the end. We obviously did another run to the landfill, kind of the thing that we do every time when Caleb is here. We got the carpets, all the leftover insulation, all the stuff that, the, the whole mess that we made. I think this is it for this week. We were able to finish the closet wall for the utility room in the bathroom and also the shower stall wall. It's all framed up. So next week I will finish the blocking all the way around the rest of the room, especially in the bathroom and in the closet section. And then we will do the plumbing. I think we might be able to finish the plumbing. So really, um, attic is going to come to a close probably next week. There might be another one week where I have to just do some finishing work touches and then we will move on to Elias's room. In Elias's room we have to unfortunately fix all the joists and some of the wall part. There's a lot of rot there. There is um, a bow in the roof. We're going to fix that and then that gives us the opportunity to get ready for the loft. So we'll do that and finish the framing there. And then I think at that point, we'll have the majority of framing complete. So I will see you guys all next time I turn on the camera. Have a wonderful week. Thanks, bye.